What I like best about helping people manage new online communities is working with new community managers. I really like working with the people who are responsible for the community um, because they usually come from a different background. They're really good at one job and then they end up sort of getting thrown into community management or just landing upon it. Um, I know I certainly did. And it's a matter of not knowing how to only wear that one hat very well, but learning all of the different jobs that is community management because it's not as simple um, as you know knowing the one thing you're really good at and then having that be applicable to all the new roles that you have to take on. So I really love watching community managers learn how to be an advocate for the end user and stand up for their position as a community manager versus the role they previously did. Um, because community managers, they really are the person that becomes closest to the customer. They know their wants, their needs, what makes them tick more than anybody else in the company. But often it's on them to advocate to be part of the business plan and make sure that that voice is heard. So I, I love being the person that gets to help validate what they feel and think that end user needs. The hardest part about growing online communities is trying to get everybody on the same page. Um, usually most communities, they'll deal with the struggle of just getting executive buy-in and making sure the people who want the online community and who are gonna be running the online community coincide uh, with what the value proposition is to the company and with how the executives understand that. But a lot of other companies, larger on the corporation side, you get into more business politics where you also have to deal with what the product team wants out of it, the marketing team, the technology team, the sales team, the business development teams, and then you get a lot of competing interests that create a lack of focus, which makes it really hard for the community manager to, um, to attain what they see as the biggest problems based on what they hear from the community and also the numbers that, you're, that they're looking at regarding the performance of the community. Um, so it makes it a really big challenge to sometimes focus on what's most important in an online community when you are trying to organize everybody into getting to the same place. I think the common misconceptions that people have about building online communities and managing relationships with customers um, is twofold in the answer. First, I think that a lot of people approach online communities with this perception that if you build it, they will come. Um, that's probably what I run into the most, where if we create this place and we know the bottom line as far as how it benefits the company, people will come and use it. Uh, but the step that most people miss is that they don't talk to their customers first and figure out what's in this community that benefits the customer. Because unless you have customer buying, you don't have any of the value propositions that help um, attain the company's goals as far as the investment they've placed in it. Uh, so it's really sort of um, old fashioned grassroots style where you need to ask the customer what they want and build it around their demands versus building it and then expecting it to meet the customer's demands and needs. The second is looking at it simply as a marketing channel. Um, and I say that from the perspective in that I know that online communities are a marketing channel, but there's a difference between looking at them the same as social media and a way to build an extra distribution list to send out emails and build upon the number of potential leads you have in your system. Uh, there are a lot more to that because they create this opportunity where it's not just about marketing, but it's about ideation, having an avenue for product feedback. And then you also have this opportunity where you're not necessarily marketing to the customer, but you're creating advocates in the customers so that they're kind of marketing and promoting their product to each other. My favorite phase of the online community process is when you're focusing on growth strategies. I really love this area because it combines both the quantitative and the qualitative factors of how to build a community really well. And the fun thing about this is what um, the different things that you can do in order to move the dial in online communities when it comes to growth is always changing because what a member wants to do online is always changing. The things they want to talk about is always changing. So you have to adapt to that. So that's great. This job is always ambiguous and challenging as far as new things you could do. Um, but additionally, there are a lot of different factors that affect that. There's platform, platform mechanics, communication psychology, what the taxonomy looks like, what your member acquisition strategy is, um, and figuring out how to bring all those things together and have them work in a way where you get the best results possible and figure out what your ideal growth strategy is over time is really challenging in the best way possible.